Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Talos Principles Blind. Last time, we went into Egypt and we got through the very first Egyptian world. Yep, see? It's over here. All done. Except for a star. But, screw that star. We are not stars. Confirmed. Right. So this time, we are getting some orangish yellow. What color would you call that? Um. I guess it's orange. I'd say they're yellow. It's red and yellow. I still think orange. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> wow, and seven's already open. Well, they were, they were all open. So, but I believe last time we got a fan. We did, and I made a very awesome joke at the end. Yes. It's awesome if I say it is. Right. I am the arbiter of awesome on this channel. So here we are. Wow, that's actually... Oh, wow. It's like nighttime with stars. It's it's stars that think they're clouds. And there's the moon. Hello, moon. That's not the moon. I mean, it's not our moon. It's not, you know, the face is different. Oh, wait, that's... Walk back and forth again. What? That's the moon... I, I guess that's accurate. It, just, it feels like the moon should move a little bit, but it doesn't. No, it's too far away. But, I mean, but... That one, it's huge in the sky. It's very close. <laughs> it's too far away. It's very close. All right. So now then, there's a computer around here. Beeping. I hear it. I do too. You will want to read this thing. I, I always want to read the things. Mm -hmm. The things are awesome. I have come to see these mysteries, but not for all of his children to solve. Only the designer himself could ever, only ever truly understand the infinite complexity of his creation. I will gaze at his work and worship. Because yes, there, there, there's no better excuse for not getting stuff done than to just assume that you can't do it. And are designed not to be able to do it. What the hell is that? I don't... It's an obelisk? No, no, like, I... Uh, you missed it. Oh, that! I think it's a leaf. I think it's just a weird camera angle. But I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Ah! It's because the camera was in the bush, I think. Yes. Anyway, freaking myself out there. Alright, yeah. here's a thing. I keep having these dreams. Great empty cities. Most people do. Silent roads stretching for miles. The earth from space, all dark. Not a single. She can teleport in her dreams. But if someone really came from another world, what would the Earth look like to them? A wilderness? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, they'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. They'd see the cities and the roads, the bridges, the harbors. Those would not survive thousands of years. Here lived a race of giants. These dreams? They scare me. But... They also remind me that we built all of this. Seriously, after like 2,000 years, there'd be almost nothing left. The cat walked with the keyboard, did it? Are we still going? No. Cat! No, stop. I don't need you to play. <laughs> okay, well... Awesome. Do you want me to just restart the episode? I don't think we can. Okay. I mean, no, I mean, I know we can't. I don't know if it auto saves. Well, here's the thing. Ah, crap. Cat, why, why you do these? Why you do this? Cat! I don't know how to save it. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope the other one is doing a good job. <laughs> it records twice, right? Yeah, because that one's also recording, and it's doing an okay job. It's just a question of, is the game too loud? Right. So I'm going to turn the game down, since this is what we have to go on now. Stupid cat! Bad kitty. Can you get it to restart, like, recording, or, or is it just... Um, it, there's no reason to, actually. Okay. Alright, I just don't want to... Okay, anyway... 
So we need to find this beepy Dan. There he is, I found him. Yay. I don't know why his name is Dan. His name is Dan. Science Magic, Weight Loss, and Academy Journal 8. Though the term science is only meant what it does for around 600 years, its practice far predates the name. There is evidence of pre-Aristotle which indicates soothsayers, mystics, and the like have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. One antidote concerns a pollen reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning in vague descriptions delivered authoritatively was given a name, the Froder Effect. Today is recognized in all contemporary psychological theory. Okay. Yeah, no, I've, I've heard that. that um, oh, I haven't heard of the Freuder Effect, which is sad because I was a psychology major. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember exactly the name specifically, but it's like you give someone like their horoscope and you tell them it's exactly like you know that it's made specifically for them and you give a hundred people the exact same thing oh yeah and they will all be like yes that describes me perfectly well yeah if you ever go on facebook you see a whole bunch of this yeah at one point there was um a post where it was like what does your name translate in japanese and like someone posted theirs and i was like okay that's the same one i got so yeah. clearly that's a bunch of bumpkiss Fascinated by Jordan's project, lovely conversation, retail principle, Greek philosophy, relevance to current situation. Suggested naming project Talos. Jordan refused, but name seems to have caught on with team. Tens of thousands of files coming in every hour. Our whole history. Oh man. If there's one thing that's good about inevitable death, it's the food. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have all the horribly unhealthy food in the world. I'm gonna feast on jelly bananas like the crazy monkey on Monkey Christmas. And you know those muffins that have so much chocolate? They're basically melting. That's gonna be my breakfast and burgers for lunch. I'm gonna have burgers so greasy you can use them to lubricate the whole factory. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties. And then, oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and jalapenos and sour cream. Ah, food coma, here I come! So... Inevitable death? So did he just find out he's going to die, like, next week? Well, I'm pretty sure this is going off again where they find out that, like, the net is crashing and all that stuff. Oh. So... Right, yes. The, the world is, is coming to an end of some sort. It's actually kind of sad. I had an aunt that the doctors said um, she had gotten some sort of terminal cancer uh -huh. and only had two months to live. Uh -huh. And so she was kind of like that, where she, you know, she really loved to eat. And so her husband was like, well, I mean, if you only got two months left, I'm not going to, you know, sure, whatever you want. Yeah. She lived another two years, and by the end, she was so horribly, I mean, it was like they, whenever she died, it's one of those stories where they have to, like, break down a wall to get her out. Really? Wow. And he was, he felt so bad about it, but he was like, I, I wasn't going to say no at the time. Yeah, no kidding, man. That's just, I don't know, man. Eating that much, that kind of stuff. Yeah. It would uh, me heartburn. And it, it, would be, it would be bad. So, like, I, I, you know, I like healthy food. I'm convinced there are answers here if we look hard enough. We have to work together on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these signals. I just don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but the world has no context, no purpose, no foundations for what to construct them. This game is really confusing. I, I like sickles. But it's wrong. You, you're wrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, if I say you're wrong loud enough, then it becomes correct. <laughs> what are you, a Republican now? <laughs> Politics. That's okay, though. I, I, I've looked, and most of my viewer demographics are under the age of 65, which means there's a very low chance you all are Republicans. So I only see one thing to do in here. Uh, yes. So obviously, in this room, we're probably going to get a beam, which we can use to prop that open. That's my prediction. I may be wrong, though. I am so smart. Okay. So wait, can you... 
Yeah, that's the way to do it. One way, anyway. I'm wondering, if we get a connection in the next room, we're going to have to switch these. Hang on. Okay, or you can do that, sure. So yeah, that goes there. So it's a question of what do we get in the next room? I don't know. I'll take my camera anyway. Oh wait, I have to have the camera thing. <laughs> yeah, fine. I realized that before you picked it up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I actually thought whenever you were green, I'm like, oh, that's really smart that we can take the gem, but then I was like, no, you can't. Well. The connector, and where's it going? There. Okay. Oh, maybe. No. Eh. Yeah, where, is there a way to get there from across the room? Oh, I see. Um, we have to use the connector. We have to connect the outer room with the beam and then use that connector to connect this room and use the jammer on that door. Ah. Okay, so... This one needs to connect to... Well, yeah, but you, you need to get the other one out of the inner room. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I got it. We figure stuff out! Sometimes. Stack mooing again! <laughs> I wouldn't call it mooing, but yes. No, but it's the same noise, though. And it sounds like a cow, but then it goes on far too long. <laughs> it's a cow having a very slow epileptic fit. Um. No. Okay, so. This one would hold that open. So yeah, cross, cross over. You can't do it from this side. Yeah, I could. Wouldn't it cross itself? And then you should be able to pick up the Jamma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I read that book, by the way. Awesome. I listened to it on audiobook, but same thing, right? See, so guys, you can tell the progress is being made because at the beginning we were talking about the book that I had read, and now it's the book that we have read. Yes. It's a good book. I like it. People should read it. Awesome. Or, or at least listen to the audio book. Yes, it is narrated by the author. Yes. Ah. Which actually may not be a good thing because uh, there's a reason he's a writer and not a voice actor. Eh. It was okay. But him. Being on, like, him trying to do an American accent, it was, <laughs> oh, it was kind of bad. I remember, um, years and years and years ago, one of my friends was super into anime, oh my god. Mm -hmm. And I watched some of these, and I swear, people in Japan think an American accent is a Texan accent. Because every single time it would come up, it would be like, hi, ah, we're the Americans. <laughs> I, yeah. How you doing, y'all? And I'm like, okay, that's... Oh, I, I, it must be hard because America is so much bigger than most countries. Mm. Most countries are like one of our states. You're right. Oh, this one. I get a fan and a box. I'm going to try this one because <laughs> I want to play with a fan. You've been waiting for years for this moment. Meh, weeks. Man on the moon. Yes. All right. So we got a box. And we got, what are those? Fans! Mm -hmm. So the box can be used to turn the fans on, it looks like. That is not very impressive. Ah. Oh, okay. Aha! Okay. So now I need to connect this thing to that thing. Okay. And now if we step on it, I bet stuff happens. Hang on. Aha! Mucho del Betro. Will that would lower us over the wall? Like we're 10 feet tall? I mean, I would think that we were big enough that that wouldn't do much, but hey, I'm not a game developer. 
gonna leave this one for now. The question is, can I detach it once it's attached? I can. Okay. Alright, we're gonna give this a try. What's going to happen? I like that I think put little streamers on it to show <laughs> it close! Whee! Okay, wow. We are not a fat robot. It's a very strong fat. Besides, we're a virtual robot. A virtual fan can blow a virtual robot if it wants. I suppose. So do we take the other fan with us and use it to weigh down that? That's a good question. Only thing I can see to do. And look, they give us a choice of ladders. Mm -hmm. How fancy. Okay, that one you're reaching on. <laughs> I want to see if a fan will even weigh down about this. Or weigh down this. It will. Alright. Can I take the box? Whee! I can. It does look like you fell a little bit shorter that time, though. Maybe. But I made it. Okay. Well, yeah. that was the puzzle that was supposed to be done first. Well, <laughs> Oh, it does, make, it does make sense. The very first fan puzzle is going to be ridiculously easy. Yes, just so you get the concept of how the fan works. Do you know how to fan? So... I was very tempted to make a joke about being a fanatic, but I decided not to. Doesn't tell me what's in it. Nope. You do not know. It is a mystery. It is an adventure. It still doesn't say. Really? What's up? What? Nothing is in it. We're going to walk in. We're going to get the piece. We're going to walk out. There's a jammer. Ooh, this one looks involved. Okay. Jammer. Ooh, wow. This is the first time I've seen a dissipation grid, like, inside the puzzle. Yeah, I'm like, wait. I can't jam that. So the question is, what can we do with it? Well, because I can jam things from far away. And uh, there's some steps in here. Oh, good eye. I had not actually noticed that. Ooh. Well, there's a, something. There's another jammer up here. Okay, so I can jam stuff from way up here. Oh, this, uh, oh. <laughs> ah, this, oh. Seriously? Okay. So I have to go in there, and then I'm just gonna jam that one so I can look and see what's in there, and then I can't. Can I go over here? It looks like it. What is that song? What? Higher Ground is a song by somebody. Somebody sings that song. Okay, so I need to get these keys, I think. I would assume so. I'm gonna jam that. We're going to find out where this goes. Yeah. We're going to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, if a rabbit digs it, I wouldn't think it'd go all that deep, really. What if it's the Energizer Bunny? Um, then it would go to China. <laughs> I really actually miss those commercials. <laughs> I was talking about this the other day. Um, where those are, those in the Arby's commercials were some of my favorite commercials of all time. Arby's? Yeah, the old Arby's commercial that same, 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 same. I love those commercials. I thought they were really well done. I, I don't see anything back there. Yeah, I don't either. But... That is a red airing. Yeah, possibly. Okay. So if we re... Okay. So this... I don't know what's back there. Well, there's another jammer up some steps I saw. Where? Back here? No. Turn around. Up the top of that. Oh! A jammer! Up there. I don't know where the steps are, but I, I, I saw it earlier when we were scouring the place. When we were casing the joint. Hmm. So there's, there's one jammer inside here. Very nice. Oh, wait a minute. What? Does that mean we can move the other two jammers inside? Oh no, because it's a dissipation grid. Yeah, so 
those two are still out there, so basically I have to set up those two to go wherever I need to, which I, I'll move them. Right. Um, but I can, I'll, I'll look in there for now. Good deal. That way we don't have to go back quite as far. Yeah. Okay, so... We need to figure out where the keys go. Yes, yeah, the keys that unlock a door. What would think? Okay, so there's... Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm over here, Mr. Deathball. You can't kill me, even though you want to. You can't even see me! That's a pretty lame Deathball. I would laugh so hard if all of a sudden, like, um, one of those pals slid down for us and then boom. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Okay. So, there's a window back here. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I, that shadow was, like, glimmering a bit. I thought there was something back there. Okay, so if I bring the other jammer back here, I could open that door. Yes. So the question is, where does that door come from? Which I bet... Is over is there. Is over there. Okay. So, so we need to we need to relocate our original guys. Our original dudes. Oh hang on. This one is jamming that one. And I, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna set it over here. And then I'm gonna have to jam this one so I can take that one in there. Okay. So but I have to jam it from one of the other ones. I believe you. And I only have two, so I'm gonna have to come back. Indeed. I'm with you so far. Mm -hmm. Which is good, because it's my house, so if I wasn't with you, you'd be trespassing. Um, right. Okay, so... Jam that. Well, this... Yes, yeah, okay, so I have to jam this one Wait, first. no, 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 because there's nothing back there. We have to go around that way to get behind there, because we already went back there, and there's no... No, I have to do the window with the one from the inside, that one. Ah, okay. So I have to jam that one first. Then I'm going to have to come back yep. and rearrange it. I have to make two trips. This puzzle is very walky. It is. Are they going to compensate us for oil? Eh. Ah! I was worried when the motion sickness stuff, I was like, oh god. No, no. I, I was just like, because I know I had set it on the slow, but I, I'll see if this... It was, I was getting annoyed with it being slow. Okay. I never knew there was an option. Because I... I mean, I saw you go in there, but I don't really pay attention to the options because I wasn't setting them. It's kind of like whenever you, um... Like, have your parents drive you somewhere. You, and then later you have to drive there and you're like, oh crap. I don't know how to get there. And now, once again, all my viewers are like, wait, how old is he? Just because you might not be a teenager, it's not like you don't remember being a teenager. <laughs> I remember when I first started driving, and then... So do I. I, I couldn't remember. You know, I didn't know where anything was. <laughs> like, wait, I go here every day. How do I get to school? Damn it! At one point... My I like missed the bus, and my dad had to take me to school, uh -huh. and neither of us knew where the school was. I guess someone with their ends here. Seems we're connected somehow, like distant family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? Back. Child program version terminated here. Logic worst the designer for blah days that allowed the serpent to its heart. Final memory dump. I asked the designer for forgiveness that I may jo join him in the eternal memory. Hmm. Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. <laughs> okay. So problem. Deathball. And we're out of jammers. It appears so. So, okay, what we need is we need to get here in two in two jams. I don't know, that's possible. 
I don't know that it is either. Aw. Oh. Are those the same death balls? Or are they a different set? I think they're different. I think so too. I am. Cause see, I would think you'd see the death balls back there, but it could be wrong. Hang on. We'll see where these go. Oh yeah, they're definitely different sets. Okay, yeah, so those just go there. So the question is, could you just go straight in the middle? Like, if you just, like, walk straight down the middle, will you die? I think you will. Pretty sure you will. Yeah. Okay. But I don't see a way around this. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Robot has discovered gravity. I discovered that earlier. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so those death balls, they go there. There. This is where we need Talos Principal co-op. So, if one was... Um, I mean, if one ball was frozen, then I could I could probably sneak past the other one. Yes. Wait, I have an idea. Crap. <laughs> Your idea is... Your idea is crap. Wait, what is behind you? What? It's a wall. Okay, I didn't know okay. if you'd fully seen that alcove yet. Okay. I'm hoping. Okay. This is a more difficult puzzle because it looks like I, we found everything. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jam this ball, right? But not permanently. I'm just going to jam it for a little bit. Okay. Hang on. And this accomplishes what? Changing the timer. Oh, that makes total sense. Okay. So then, so they're not like. Exactly. So, so they're yeah, opposite end, so then I can sneak past one and then go. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense, actually. Okay. Do you think I got the timing? I do. They seem to be going opposite directions now. We'll yeah. need to, well, we'll need to do that to the other balls, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That is super smart, actually. I would not have thought of that, at least not immediately. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do that with this jammer. I think I have to do it with the jammer that's up there. Okay. But. Okay. I did that with the other, um, you know, we snuck past other balls mm -hmm. that were going opposite directions like that. I think we, we stopped one with a box or something. Yes. And then at one point you picked up the box and died. And I left. Oh. Right. Because I'm a terrible friend. Hopefully, I can do this. I mean, I'm sure I can do this, but... Yeah, you can get over here. Okay. Yeah, so I got that one. And I'm just gonna wait until the other one is basically down at the other end. Bum, 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 I mean, hopefully bum, I got bum, the bum. other ones timed well enough. Yes, this is going to be an execution task. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. Yeah. Okay. Now rejam. Now then I need to that re -jam one. this one over here. There we go. And we're ready to go. <laughs> wish us luck, people. I wish I could set a save point so that if I blow myself up, I don't have to reset all, like, everything in the puzzle. Yeah. Because I have a feeling I'm going to get blown up. And I'm like, I just want to go from here. Like, save here. Right? Murgatroyd. Right, I did it. Okay. Now this one's easier. Yeah. Because there's significantly more room. So, I don't know what jammer we can spare. I don't know either. 
But we'll, th we'll worry about that when we get out of here. I know. I thought we, we. I thought we solved the hard part already. Yeah. Get serious there. Okay. Your cat. Yes, I know he's a cat. I know that, but he's okay. So we've got three jammers. We've got that, and that one's busy. Yeah, we can't get to that one. And this one. That one both have to be open, right? Brr. Wait, I got it. I, I got was gonna it. say we're I gonna, got it. We're I going to it. have to nope. get the nope. other one nope. Nope. around. Nope. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think I have it too. I have to take it with me. That's what I was thinking. It's like I don't have to jam it through the window. Like the window was probably for the ball what I was doing, you know. That's, nope. that's not that one. Wait, no, yes. I got it. That's fine. I was saying nope is it not that door. It, that, that door. Okay. Just go get it now. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. All right. What do you think, Kitty? Cat is so smart. So yeah, we'll open it and take it with us. Mm -hmm. Wait. How will that help me? I won't be able to get it out. No, but you can set it. Okay, so you just open that door. Uh -huh. And then you go through and you jam that door from the other side. So that when you're behind it, you can pick up that jammer and then not need it because you're already behind the door. Yeah, turn around. Nope, 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 nope. Turn around. Nope. Get oh. Jam the this door. This door? No, that door. This one? Yep. Then you can move that jammer to open that side. And once you're already through that door, you can pick up the other jammer. The door will close, but you're already behind it, so who cares? Yeah. And get the very last one. Ah! Yes! That. Okay. There we go. My kitty is proud of you. Yay. See, this is why the two of us work together. Because I'm like, no, wait. I, I knew I had to bring it over here, but I was then I was like, wait, no, I, I I was thinking I needed to take this one all the way down to the end. Right. And I was like, wait, I can't do that. That doesn't work. <laughs> What do you see? Alright. Screw you, puzzle. Haha! I win! Exit? Really? You're not gonna give us a way out? Where's the bloody exit? God <laughs> damn it! Do I have to. I almost say blow yourself up. It's faster. I don't... Will it let me keep it? I don't know. We'll first check to see if something helped down here. Oh. Yeah, it did. It did. Okay. <laughs> okay. And with that, we're going to call it an episode. Holy jeez. That, that was probably the hardest puzzle in this area, if I had to take a guess. Probably. Because that seemed very involved. Yep, but it was good. It okay. was. And we solved it without having to break. Woo! 
So, thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you next time for episode 14 of the Talos Principles Blind. I don't know why there's multiple Talos Principles now, but there are. All of them. This All game the is principles. expanding.